Uh, 12 Ooh. likely misses. Yep. Okay, the, the piece of stone smashes against the boulder you're hiding behind and shatters into a thousand pieces. Okay, that's pretty much all I got. <laughs> Pebble hits Erwin on the head. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so far, either you can go first or I can go first. Um, I am... Uh, can you minus... identify... I want you to go first. I want you to identify if it's better for me to slice it with sword or use my club. Um... Okay, uh, what type of knowledge would be appropriate to identify this creature? Dungeoneering. Dungeoneering. 22. Uh, the, the, do normally to identify a creature, it is 10 plus their challenge rating. Yeah, uh, this looks like to just to be a kind of a... An animated, uh, an animated dead creature. Uh, you would guess it has no special preferences or weaknesses to any kind of weapon, except those that are specially treated against evil. Okay. Well, I think I think that sort of yours should do just fine with it. But there's a reason why I all other people identify it because now my bard spell. Um, are you going to treat the now? I believe the now check is a standard action to do that. So, um, I'm going to follow up by sort of moving into this position here for the time being and saying so far. I don't know if you want to run too far ahead, but mm. so that's all I'd recommend for the time time being. I'd say brace yourself for it. In either case, let's see here. It's so my action up, mm -hmm. and he has four other columns that he could throw. Mm -hmm. Too, Almost no, in. too far. To be, no. Sorry, folks. I am planning out my move here. Mm -hmm. And let me just check some real quick. I'll move. Between these two these two downed pillars right here, mm -hmm. uh, with, with with my sword out, and that will be my turn for this duration. Okay. Garrett. So, Garrett already did his turn. Uh, yeah, I did my turn. So, cycle back to Erwin. Uh. <laughs> okay, All me right. again. Yes. Um. Your your throne range is what twenty feet, right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. He's, if you wanted to, I, I'd throw, have to go pretty close to throw. You would have to, if you move one square closer, one or two squares closer, you could try to throw it. Um, it would be a. I don't actually. I don't know how far. I think you can try to hurl it at a farther distance. You would just take a minus. I forget what the penalty is. The thing's minus two for each range increment you're missing, but you would still be hitting touch armor class. Hmm. So, hold on. One, two, minus one. One, two, three, four, minus two. Four. B minus three. Four well, again, if he best. moves closer, so yeah, he if can he, throw up within 60. Yeah. If he moves two squares closer, it'll be a minus three. Okay. Um. So, if I throw a bomb right now, um, that would be... It, you'd move up like that, and then you'd be able to throw the bomb up to where it is. It'd okay. be a... The, you'd have a minus two penalty overall to the roll, but it'd be versus touch armor class. Which is... Okay, so, um, I, I think I'll just go ahead and do that. I'll toss a bomb at it. Okay. Shakes it up. Yeah, uh... <laughs> I, I've... That would be 12, 12 versus armor, touch armor class. Okay, so, wait, um, is my range plus two or something? Or No, 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 no. Uh, it's basically because for each range increment you're going beyond, Yeah. you're taking a minus two penalty to the attack. Okay. So, so you're taking a minus four penalty to the attack, but you get plus two because your dexterity is 18, as opposed to just 14. Okay, so you said 12 versus touch? Yes. Yep. It hits... 
Okay. Roll your damage to the bomb, then. All right. It, ten fire damage. <laughs> Just like... Okay. Ten damage. You got it. It goes... And it's covered in fire. I think it's fire. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Fire damage. <laughs> okay. All right. Next. I will fire, reload, step back five feet. Ah! That's it. No luck okay. for Tecla, but she's being smart. <laughs> mm. Bear's turn. I like Bear me, goes Lucas. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to attack these two guys. I'm behind cover. I know you are. I am you not. <laughs> no, you, you have are. 19. You have no, you have partial. Throws its pillar and smashes uselessly against the floor. And it goes, oh. All right. Now, um, my turn. Uh, I'll do. I'll do my turn just for the sake of things. Yeah, go for it. I'm going to enable my bardic music by recanting horrible jokes about undead bears. Bear and enable my natural. <laughs> exactly. So everyone within 30 feet of me will get a one plus one inside bonus to armor class, attack rolls, and saving throws against that creature um, for each round I maintain this. Good. So, Erwin, hey, guess what? You now have a 20 AC against this thing. Hur hooray! <laughs> <laughs> That's good, right? That's really I have good. an 11. <laughs> so, yeah. You have, a tw you have a 12 now. And oh, uh, no, so far... And Thofire has, what, a 16 AC? I have and 16. I have a 17 AC, so... That's going to be my... Uh, that will be my standard action. Um, and I'm going to take a... My foot step in this direction, just so I can kind of keep closer. And I'm going to look at Thofire. It's like, if you want to... Again, I'm not sure if you want to rush in there yet, but... Um, I think playing things a little bit safe might be good for the time being. But... So uh, again, I look over and it's like there's three pillars left, and then yes. he's. <laughs> <laughs> and if he removes all of them, this that that will the ceiling will surely collapse on him. You're thinking what I'm thinking. Yes. Well, I I move over to the larger boulder over here. Okay. For my for my action. So. All right. So I am good. Okay, that's it. Yep. So Erwin, you're back up. Erwin, you're okay. back up, and uh, you'll, um, you'll can, have a. Hmm? Uh, I'm sorry. Can I try a throw a bomb again and then move? Yes. Yes, you can. Yeah. Um, okay. If you, if you throw a bomb, you're basically now at only a minus one overall to what your result will be because yes. you get a bump to your attack roll. Okay. Um. Yeah. I uh, toss another bomb. I, okay, I wind up. Roll again. So, oh. roll again. Roll again. Yep. Oh, okay. Okay. You just miss. All right. So it's a misfire. So what you need to do now is do the the miss throw. Is going to be based off of this square here though, because it still ends up near the bear. Okay. But, right. So. Yep. So bomb miss throw. It is four. So it is one. So basically one. Basically, it is this direction. One. Uh. So one, two, three. It lands here. Essentially, yeah, right. you threw it way wide. That's a nice thing, though. Like it's hard for you to throw it and make it land on yourself. But mm -hmm. okay, so, you, wait. You can move now if you want. Yes, and I will uh, move behind this pillar. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, can't, they can't always be winners. <laughs> yep. Alright, Tecla, Alright, let's try this again. And I have a yep. plus two. Just 14. Huzzah. 14 at the crossbow? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, let me double check. And reload. Move back. Uh, sadly, it misses. Yeah. All right. Oh. All right. Bear's turn now. Bear throws stuff. <laughs> <laughs> He's the using his bare hands. Guy rushing, <laughs> throwing a 
Erwin. <laughs> miss. <laughs> That's Nin- 90 to miss against Erwin? It, Erwin has a 20 armor class right now. No kidding. Because yep. of his, be- between my song and his uh, dexterity potion, he has a 20 AC. Okay, you still take kind of a explosion damage. You take two points of shrapnel. <laughs> All right, so that's like this is this is why this is why I went with naturalist because if I didn't, you would have been hit. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to do the following now. Um, since I can, oh shoot, I got to move in a lot closer if I want to use grease. So I can't do grease from here. Um, Okay. No, oh. he doesn't get a save because I say no. All right, I'm gonna move up a little bit. Uh, Tekla, you are just at the extreme of my range for uh, my song. Uh, for my, I'm gonna maintain performance. Um, so that will be just to refresh. Uh, so I'm done with Netflix. So everyone again, plus one inside bonus AC attack rolls and saving throws, and. That will be all I can do for the time being because the fire is like okay, well. He he'll have to move a bit of a bit of a way to get to a pillar. Do you want to move in now, or do you want to wait for him to use the other pillars up? No, I'm gonna move in now. So I got 17 AC for this. You will have 17 AC on. You'll have uh well you have 17 AC uh, 16 AC until you move outside of my un, until you move about to where to once you get past here. Mm-hmm. Um. You will probably lose it until you probably you won't be able to get a refresh next round, basically. So uh, one round's one round's good enough for me. Okay. So time for me to charge with my sword. You can't charge because there's you got to move around the stuff. I got to move around. Okay. So it's, I'm you're tra- gonna you're, you'll have to kind of move. You, what you could do is move yourself here and make it come closer, but I'm not sure if you want to risk getting attacked like that. Um, yeah, does it still have two pillars? <laughs> it's two pillars, but they're both up here. Yeah. It's used the central one and the two bottom ones. Okay, so... And I can't reach it on this turn, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna get re- you... I'm gonna get ready for a charge on the next turn then. Okay. So I'll, I'll just move right over here, just in case he decides to go up there. Alright. All right. Uh, is that yours? Your turn as well, Garrett. Yep. Erwin. Okay. Um, well, uh, if you move, if you will have cover if you're over here, so you could move over into that position and make the throw. Yes. Uh, all right. So I will try once again with the bomb. Yep. That will be a miss, a but not a botch. But do the uh, miss throw again. Okay. Bomb miss throw. Mm-hmm. All right. It will fall basically over. It falls basically over here and explodes. <laughs> Certainly not my best pitches. Yeah. All We're right. Let's try this again. No. <laughs> Every load the low. <laughs> Suggestions. What is wrong with this? This is how we lost the last battle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Reload but not move. Yeah. So, go ahead. Alright. Bear's turn. Okay. Hey, sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Or, the, in this case, the building's gonna crumble at this rate. <laughs> yep. It rips right. this pillar down, and you can see the, the roof. Mm-hmm. The ceiling that's overhanging this uh, particular, uh, the steps leading into the temple. This mm-hmm. entire area just mm-hmm. crashes to the ground, r- uh, throwing up this huge cloud of uh, smoke and, and broken stone. It makes it very hard to see through. Mm-hmm. So it's going to throw its pillar. It's going to throw it at the closest guy. Okay. And I got cover still. No good. And oh. I'm good. Go! All right. Um... Now what now is this now is this whole thing is the dust still settling right now? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna for me, I'm just going to maintain my naturalist bonus. Um, keep my 
uh, keep my whip drawn and be like, wait for the dust to settle, but hopefully that caused at least some harm to it. By chance, did it? No. Oh no! That's what I kind of figured. He's going to have to take that last one out then in order for the whole oh, thing yeah. to go down. Uh, well, all right, so if it didn't fall however, on him. It's, oh, it didn't fall on him yet. That's no, why. It didn't fall on him yet. Yeah, and if I go in there, if he will fall on you. So. Yeah, exactly. Lay, so, uh, lay low. You know yeah, what, I'm chat room? What the fuck do you want from me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> they, well, they want, they want, they, they want. We want blood. <laughs> no, they, they're like, your art sucks, Spoonie. And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I didn't say anything. <laughs> I would, oh, again, I would say, let's just like, like, let's, again, this, again, this is, oh, look. Wait, wait, wait. We got someone coming into the call. Someone's connected. Well, yes. Sup? Hi, Sean. Sean. Hey. Yeah, I was, watching the the... Enti- I was watching the entire time, so I know what's going on. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to the party. Mm-hmm. I made two missed throws. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I <made your> hands <laughs> coming. Awesome. All right. So. All right. Throw a fear. So, all right. I am up. Throw um, I can't pronounce your name. He's going to throw. The rope's going to collapse. If I'm near him, even if I do charge at this point, it's going to hit me hard. So. I really want to charge, but I'm going to play it safe and just hold up here and uh, use the uh, cover. Okay. So. And it's going to be Irwin, actually. Uh, all right. Yeah. Oh, I missed the awesome Final Fantasy VIII music from Spoonie's side. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, should I uh, go ahead and I, I feel like trying once more. Uh, yeah, move to the other side of that pillar. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so you get partial coverage and you can chuck it. All right, and I am chucking. You hit. All right. All right. And kaboom. Fine. Six, five damage. Six, uh, six damage. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's four of your five times. Next. Yep. All right. Now fourteen will not hit. Nope. <laughs> well, I'm putting, all my bad. She's no. putting fire out there though. Okay. Well, if it gets within 30 feet, I'll get their plus one, so... Uh, it, wrap, it rips the last pillar down, but does not get a chance to throw it, because with that, the entire entranceway collapses down on the creature. Uh, burying it beneath several tons of rubble. Waiting for it to get up, and the music. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> so is it? Well, basically, we're. I think we're just kind of Wait. waiting on what happens. Yeah. That seems to be it. There's just. Is he dead? There's yeah. there's a lot of smoke and dust in the air. Not smoke, but there's a lot of dust in the air. But I, everything I, is once I, again silent. I battle not over yet. Alright, I'm going to turn I'm gonna stop naturalist for now. Um, Garrett, check to see if it's dead. I, your... I can't check from here to see if it's dead. Last then then go up there and up. check. <laughs> Sorry. No, so, can you do like a knowledge check to the... I I again I can't see it, I don't hear it. So either it is not unconscious, or it's disseminated, or it, it has indeed killed itself in rubble. All right. So you can't do anything. Well, well, what kind of check would you need for that? Or if you would... can't see it, you can't diagnose it. So. Yeah. I see. So okay. I would, I'm going to basically carefully move out over here and just kind of look off into the rubble. 
is does it look like there's any way to perhaps clear out some stuff to get into the temple? Uh, the entire entranceway has has basically blocked off over here. I mean, there's there's kind of a ramp leading up the stairs, but the entire mm-hmm. entranceway is sealed. Uh, you would guess it would take a lot of work to get it cleared out, if you could, to get even anyone in there. Question. Right. Yes. Could we climb up to, like, say, this platform here and, and walk along? It's not really a platform. It's. Yeah, this is meant to be just the inside of the temple over here. All right. So, my. Well, I sort of looked to. I sort of look over to. So far, I'm like, well, I don't know if we're going to be able to get in here anytime soon. But it doesn't seem like there's anything possessing this area still. If you were to guess, and this is with you having no engineering ability whatsoever, you would guess it would take around a month of work to clear the, uh, clear the entrance of this. I Not to say do you couldn't ha- do I can, it. But. I can use knowledge engineering. Um, let's see if I get anything here. Ten, so it's just basic... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you were to organize a team of about six to eight people, you could probably do it in about two, three weeks. Yeah. Well, I would say if there's no other spirits here. I guess we could call in people to excavate this area. We wouldn't uh, be doing this most likely. we just sealed up the entrance. <laughs> Perhaps again. As soon as well, they open it up. Mm-hmm. It's a funk of forty thousand years and all that. Well, I. Well, first off, I don't know if it's dead yet. I want to make sure that what that the roof actually took it out. Well, it's not moving. It's not coming after us. It's not making any sound. I'm not hearing any voices. I'm sort of stepping closer to the rubble here and seeing if I hear any voices or reaction. Mm. Is it silent? It seems to be. <sighs> I think it might have... It might have slain itself invariably, though at the expense of us getting access in here. Though I suspect a cleric would be at least relieved that whatever spirit might be possessing here at least is subdued for the time being. Darren, if only that cleric was here could, that could actually tell us if, it's, if it was slain. Uh, I don't think so. This seems like it's just delaying the inevitable, but... Um... We can at least investigate the uh, the bandits now. Yes, indeed. The bandits are probably, what, in the opposite direction that you, we came from? Sure, so. yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, so there's there's no other alternate route around that we can see? or is there, a can... wall, is there a wall I could climb? Like, is there a window available? It doesn't seem so, no. This is built into the side of... Uh, it's basically built into the side of a large hill... Hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, I I say we could quickly survey the area uh, and see if there's any anything worth taking, either as relics or otherwise, um, to indicate that we came here safely. But I say otherwise. The fact that we left with as few injuries as we have is a good sign, as any. It, is there and well, just so. I, I'm checking around. I'm trying to look at the rubble, and I'm trying to see, is there anything of note that's, like, that fell, like, any anything interesting, like, shiny objects of some sort? You're searching the rubble? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Uh, it depends on how long you want to take picking through it, but you don't see anything immediately that catches your eye. Uh-huh. I, I said, hey, Erwin. Mm-hmm. Why don't you throw a bomb to where it was at? See if you can clear some debris so we can see if it's really dead or not. Uh, can I do that? <laughs> if you want to throw a bomb where it was, I won't stop you. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm a, <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, if we're going to get people to excavate this, the first thing they're going to ask us, is it dead? We might as well make sure that it's really dead. I believe we. I believe knowing that won't happen until after an excavation has occurred. I think they would just need to make sure to bring armed mercenaries when they come to excavate this site. That's what I would suspect. Yeah. Well, I, I only got one bomb left. So. I would say. I would say. I would say it's best for us to gather our gather our things, get back on our horses, and 
move away from here for the time being, knowing that at least we didn't take any grave injuries. I sort of noticed the sort of gash across Erwin's forehead. That, that one almost hit you there. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, it was a close Thur- call, but... Thurifier uh, clenches his fist and punches the ground very hard, screaming in, in annoying anger. Okay. So far. Well, you only get half XPs for uh, this encounter because you failed to keep it from collapsing the entranceway, so the party shares 400. Still, that's... So, 100 each. Mm-hmm. Well, that was fun. <laughs> well, well, okay. To be sure... We'll probably come back here at some point, but just, we'll have to well, wait for just, a few weeks. Here's a just, thought. Maybe um, instead of trying to go like through this way, could we try to break the wall like right there or through here? No, the only way up was the was the stairway leading into the side of the, the hill. Mountain, it's yeah, it's yeah. not going to happen. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Could I check to see if there's any remnants of uh, Rarth that that uh, Malusin might have forgotten in the general vicinity? I'm sorry, what? You were looking for what? Like, slight meta. Could I check to see if there's a is there a particular item that uh, Malusin might have left behind where Rarth stood? She picked up everything there was on him. I don't see. No, not really. Okay. I mean, you can look, but there's nothing there. All right, fair enough. What, what are you looking for? I, I, I'm not following you, really. Mm-hmm. Uh, for a particular item. But if it, it was but on if, but him, it, but... if it was on him or near him, she picked it up. All right, fair enough then. Never mind. Wait, whatever it was, it was probably with his body back mm-hmm. at the cabin. Yep, fair. Yeah, fair okay. enough. Fair enough. Uh, that's why I was just asking, that's all. Mm-hmm. So, so. Oh, you're picking over the, the zombies, okay. Okay. Uh, okay, well. Uh, actually, no, not, not the zombies. Uh, uh, at this point, the fire goes. Very, very, uh, very angrily. So, any other places of interest? Well, according to Erwin and Tekla, um, Oleg still needs a group of bandits that are extorting him that need to be taken care of. And that is part of what we were instructed to do when we were being sent over here. Alright. And it doesn't look like we can go anywhere here anymore. So At least... whatever whatever's in there is locked in tight along with that bear corpse. Again. But anyways, I believe we shall be off for the time being then. Okay. Back to the world map. Dun, 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 dun. Suddenly up. Magnus shows up. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, Magnus meets you back at the river crossing. It's like where'd you go? <laughs> Hey guys, sorry, diarrhea happens. <laughs> <laughs> Duty called. Duty called. <laughs> I'm like, I, I sort of, I sort of look at Magnus, and we're, I'm like, huh, oh, I didn't even notice you were around until we got back. Well, <sighs> so if we, I guess, if we follow the river in the other direction, we might end up possibly finding where. Those bandits were. You all remember what direction they might have gone? Uh, there were wagon tracks at one point, weren't there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that was in character. That's not literally why I wasn't... Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Chat room, you you know you know play nice. The chat room um, is a bunch of assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my character has the lowest wisdom in the party, but that's beside the point. Well, 
let's see here. I'm gonna kind of roll up kind of the map of what we've been so far. Well, um, ah, oh, god damn it. Uh, just fuck. Don't add miniatures to the world map. I told you that. Yeah. We we I, we didn't. I I didn't. Somebody did. That, 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 did that, Sean, did you move your character on the world map? Uh. Yes, because it was yours. <laughs> Nah, <laughs> totally not. You... I think that's when I was having problems with Java Seven. What? So, sorry. Anyways, so we're roughly around here. I guess we'll get Fuck back. Now I gotta draw the whole fucking thing over again, you <laughs> asshole. I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it, oh it's place, placing the token itself <laughs> isn't what causes the problem. It's moving the token because it messes with the vision. I'm sorry. Where, where is it anyway? <laughs> I told it, you it, Java it, 7 was fucking up my map. It, no, don't blame uh, it on that's Java that's, 7. I'll blame not, it on fucking Java 7. <laughs> the the problem comes from just the way the vision it treated on the tokens. It actually disrupts Fog of War. So. Oh, what the fuck now? Hmm? What happened? Nothing. Just, I'm pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Fuck. First thing you do is you come in here. <laughs> I haven't clicked a thing. Hey, since I got hey then you moved your character. Not since I just got back on. Uh, -uh. I haven't clicked a thing. You're gonna pay for this, Sean. your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm gonna whip my dick around your neck and start you like a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Uh, that's vivid picture right there. Somebody needs to draw that. They definitely no. don't. No. <laughs> definitely do not. <laughs> oh my! And I know you were directing that toward me, Liz. I'm not gonna do it. But I'll I have standards. <laughs> But, but anyways, while this is happening, Garrett's kind of evaluating kind of the map and sort of notes on the map stuff. So okay, so we're here. That means what? Do, do, do. Well, nope. we need to get back to the river, and we need to go the opposite yes. direction. Fuck. Yep. So uh, my point is, like, why don't we just follow the wagon tracks south? The wagon tracks are probably gone by now. Or no, here's an idea. Why don't we go to the priest and ask him to do the augury like what we should have done to begin with? <laughs> Huh? That's a great idea, Bender. <laughs> All right. So you're going back to Oleg's? Well, we can if we want to, um, or we can, again, I think we're, our supplies are still pretty good for the time being. Random yeah. question. Um... I mm -hmm. had a I had dropped my rapier in that place. Did anybody happen to pick it up or? Yeah, you got it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but we, again, we got a mark off of where the Bruggen tracks were. Yeah. So the direction they went. So, so we can... I just was like, why don't we just follow this line here, down uh, outside the forest by the river, and see yeah. if we can see anything. Down by the river. We can, yeah, we can follow the, we can follow the, we can follow it, um, just southward as the river flow goes. Yes. We don't, all right, well, we don't really need to tell that, um, that cleric what happened, or is, is that... Is I that, would insist that we let him know what happened. Yeah. yeah. However, it's still day. We can always tell him that we we'll back up Irwin there Irwin blew up another major landmark. What? <laughs> I said Irwin blew up another major landmark. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, at least there wasn't anyone alive there this time. <laughs> okay, so we're going south or north? Going, we're going south, uh, following the Dern River over to the uh, Unknown's Hex, south of west. Excellent. Southeast, I mean. Oh, yeah, southeast, never mind. You yeah. got it. 
Nothing happened. We got to make it interesting for the for the uh, people watching. <laughs> <laughs> also, Erwin, you'll probably want to make a new mutagen while you're traveling. Yes, uh, I will make a new mutagen. Um, I will make a. I think I'll make another dexterity mer- mutagen. It that does to... you a lot of good. Yes. Yeah, it, it did me. It did me very well. So, I will just make another one. Thank you for reminding me. I... Uh, one second. I need to find that's, that's, that's partially what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> and the one Perfect. feature. Sorry. Suddenly, there's like the voices of someone from the past. Uh, and just to remind you, Sean, just one feature to utilize more often the um, arcane pool. Okay, short break. I need to throw a new map up. Okay. Alrighty. Right. Yeah. The arcane pool. That we, yeah. yeah. Also, Alrighty. let us know when it's getting close to the end of the day, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's around, actually, it's around 4 p.m. by the time you reach back to the wagon tracks and meet Magnus. Well, we could rest up here for the night before we travel southeast. Oh, sure. Well, yeah. let, let's, let Spoonie make his map first. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Hang on, I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty. Let's see. Well, well, uh, no, this is drawing. I could run Action uh, Castle to the chat room. Action Castle. Yes. Do you, if you guys want, I can do it right now while he's doing this, depending on how long night we can this solve the time. This will take three or four minutes, so go ahead if you want to. All right. Well, all right, so I'll have Liz and Sketch. You're the players. Uh, no, 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 no I'm, I'm not interested in playing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Never the mind, then. I'll save it for another time. Yo, what dog, happened? I heard you like role-playing. Try to get role-playing in your role-playing, fool. It's okay. I... Not at the moment, though. I'm mainly focusing on trying to keep track of the party stuff in my head. Alrighty. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we got enough problems. Uh, Skitch, quick question. Mm-hmm. Um, I know I can use my arcane pool to give myself a plus one enhancement bonus to my weapon for a minute, mm-hmm. but is it is it a specific uh, effect, it basically, or is it one I choose? It is, no, no, it basically, at your level, it basically turns your rapier or scimitar to a plus one rapier or scimitar for the period of time. When you get to higher levels, you can then add in things like keen or other things to it, because your art, because your bonus increases over time, but you can convert some of that bonus into other effects. But just, a, but just the fact that you can convert it to a plus one rapier means you can go past damage. Of uh, you get better t- penetration for certain type of creatures since your rapier or scimitar becomes a magic weapon. Um, you get a bonus to attack, uh, and to damage, and otherwise. Cool. So those are. So those are things that are nice to use, and I believe... Let me see how many times you can use that per day. Uh, you can use it four times a day. Which is still... Which is still nice. Okay, I need... How do I do this? And each round's, what, ten seconds? So I'd be able to get six, six rounds seconds. out of each use? Six the round seconds. Is six so, yes. Okay, so ten rounds out of each use. All right. Yep. Cool. Now I know... One use would have lasted that entire fight with the bear where you wouldn't have been stabbing anything. Yeah, the fog of war thing puzzles me. Cause yeah. As soon as a player character... Like, if I have the entire yeah. map, and as soon as a player character just goes there, the entire Be- thing is revealed. I don't understand Be- that. Because the fog of war actually gets affected by player vision? Uh-huh. That's why. And that's why the overworld map gets affected the same way. Unless you actually... So you'd have to turn off vision on the tokens, and then you wouldn't be able to use the vision properties of them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm going to need a couple minutes. To, I'm going to actually get set up the uh, the vision shit, so I'll do Okay. This will sure. be cool, but you'll like it. Okay. Um, so that's kind of the... Uh, that's kind of the one thing that you can keep in mind. And then you also have the spells you can prepare. And remember, the spells you can prepare each morning um, in your book 
you uh, for your level one spells, you got Chill Touch, Color Spray, Grease, Shield, Shocking, Grasp, and True Strike. And you can prepare up to two of those a day. So, Shocking Grasp is nice because you can actually attack, use, attack that through the sword. And there's other cool things you can do. The night, the the fun thing about it, the fun thing about the pairing of Erwin and Garrett, it's like, oh look, Erwin, hey, you got a twenty armor class against that enemy now. <laughs> Oreo, I don't want to play squeaky, but squeaky toy. <laughs> um, I rolled, I rolled initiative. Yeah. That's kind of cool. The chat room can kind of see what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. I haven't used any weapons or even intimidate stuff yet with Garrick, but that's okay. Tell Miles to stop playing with his toys. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me. T I'm looking over the uh, party's uh, ability <laughs> scores to compare them, and uh, yeah, Garrett has the worst ability score rating by a good measure. Uh, for wisdom. Who's the lowest intelligence? Who can we make fun of for being stupid? Um, <laughs> that would be, actually, that's a, that's a tough one. I, cause I don't think anyone has a. I think the person with the lowest intelligence. I'll see. Garrett has a fourteen. Erwin has an eighteen. Magnus has a sixteen. Malusu has a ten. <laughs> and Tekla has a fourteen. And Fire has a 13. So Melusu with a 10 has the lowest. <laughs> it's like. Can't make fun of somebody who's not here. <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Melusu, you're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do any of you have Intimidate as a skill? Garrett does malice. Uh, Garrett has a plus ten bonus to intimidate, and it's actually his strongest skill in his arsenal at level one. Almost done. It's one more minute. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm having donuts. Cool. <laughs> the um. Okay. The, the, the absolute the absolute lowest stat in the party in any particular stat is Garrett, who has a seven wisdom. He's not very observant. Why is performer bluff not my strongest uh, uh, skill, Geek Squared? Because intimidate can be used to demoralize people and impose attack penalties by making them shaken. I just didn't. I just didn't have this uh, encounter, and I didn't think you'd survive. I mean, I didn't think you'd get quite this far. The the, the other reason. <laughs> The other reason is because um, I'm an archivist and not an original bard, so I don't get performance, um, versatile performance, where I would use perform comedy in place of intimidate and bluff. Because if that was the case, I would have focused on performance bluff. Okay, so. uh, let's do this. Uh, there's actually it's not player visible, is it? Yeah. Oh, it is. Uh, go to. There's a map called Thorn River Camp. Go there and drag your icons on it. Uh, Garrett's already there because I was testing yeah. out the field of vision. In what way is Garrett intimidating? By his, really, he again, he's a, uh, in by his one just obscene range of knowledge that he has, and two with the the types of awful jokes you can make about your your um, parents and or heritage. All right. So you wait for morning to do this? I would say it would be best if we did, yes. Okay. So um, that means, Erwin, you are at seven hit points. You recovered. Actually, no, I would use my Cure Light Wounds on you anyways before we slept. 
Um, so you're at full health, and Tekla, I would have used Cure Light Wounds on you as well at the end of the day. So okay. you're probably at full health by the morning, but let me just roll for you. Just because you were at, what, what health were you at before we... I need uh, two more hit points, so you so, automatically... Yeah. You'd automatically get full health. So, cool. All right. How do you do that? <laughs> what? No, that, it modify the hit points. Oh, yeah, I don't modify the hit points. It's, it's just a property field underneath... Uh, no, no, he's talking about the bar over... Uh, right. Tecla said. So underneath the properties so, tab. Under your state, um, for your character. Okay. Yep. Wait, 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 hang on. Personate. Um. Yeah, so like, you know, bar, health. Uh, boop. Um, and, um, Sean, right. do you have a particular token of Magnus you want dragged over here? Uh, yeah, the one I've been using, uh, the one that's at Oleg's. Now, Oreo, okay. you are being a nuisance. I need you to go play. Okay. Okay. Thor never uh, can. There yes. we go. Your token's in. Yeah, you know what? I'll I'll figure that out later. What put your what put your token on stolen lands? What? <laughs> You're gonna die. So... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just checking something real quick. All right. Anyways, so, I figured that. Uh, you guys are actually going to start off just a little off the map to the north because yeah, how yeah. you approach it is up to you. Sure. Let's mm. right. say tech list probably right over there. Probably in the middle. That's weird. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Now, as you follow the river, you go no more than about a mile and a half, maybe two miles, uh, following the tracks. When you see ahead, there's a fairly large clearing up ahead. It looks to be kind of an artificially made clearing, as if somebody had, you know, had cleared it out themselves. You know, they, they've cut down all the trees around this place. Uh, it... Hmm. You, can, you can hear the sounds of uh, wood cutting and whatnot from up ahead, and... Uh, you can see the wagons uh, wind a path along the shallow creek. The Thorn River tends to narrow down into a creek just about. Mm. Huh. Uh, just Curious. ahead, you can see some man-made structures just down the river, uh, such as, hang on, such as over here, you see that some logs have been uh, bundled up and stacked quite high. I don't know if you can see them if, you're, if your line of sight is blocked. Mm. Can you can you see logs here? Yeah, I yeah. Can see the logs. Yes. Okay. It's, it's it's in shadows, so I can't see anything beyond it. But yeah, I can see the logs. Yeah, there's there's some logs stacked up, you know, about four or five feet high over here. You can see a you can see a hand cart, which is actually where the uh, the wagon tracks stop. That's way further down the river, but uh, it's around here that you get the feeling that you're approaching something. You're, you're approaching an inhabited area, so it's up to you how you want to approach. Mm. All right. Well. Carefully. Yes. Um, uh, I noticed that there is a little, uh, a little hole peeking in to uh, to an area. I don't know if 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 that's like you're, a place we can, yeah. we can like spy in. Yeah, if we can, like spy yep. in there or something. Well, okay. It's like, hmm. Well, we need to evaluate this thing because these either could be just folks clearing wood to make something or it could be bandits. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, but I'm, I'm seeing like maybe there's like some clues that we can like peek in and see yes, what's, what's, what's uh, in there. Sort of, sort of thing. Who who wants to be the eyes for us? Um, I'm pretty good at speaking to people. I could just walk up there and try talking. <laughs> you well, guys I can think... get the position. Well, oh, I can. I believe many of us can. Uh, maybe we should just 
approach in a calm manner without any of us appearing intimidating and or imposing and go from there. I, at this point, I'm going to just kind of settle off my horse for a moment and just sort of pat on the side. Like, I'll walk with oh, I'll walk with you, Tekla, just so that we don't end up being in a trap. Anyone else is going to come with on foot? I don't hear uh, any volunteers, dude. <laughs> I will. Uh, I will uh, stick behind. Uh, I'd suggest actually just either one or two of us to uh, take point. The rest of you guys stay on alert because if we get ambushed, you know, only have right. two people mm-hmm. in the middle instead of like four people would be right. Well, well, that's what I meant. I wanted. I wanted to just kind of like stick a little bit behind, so. I get in a position uh, to be on point. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, I I guess we're basically going to... Tech Lander are probably going to walk off in this direction here. Okay. First. Give me a minute. I'll I'll tell you what you see. All right. Uh, Are you you trying to be stealthy at all, or are you just walking in the open? I will try to be... We'll try not to make a lot of noise and stuff, but not be particularly stealthy, I guess. Mm -hmm. We're not trying... Um, want me to drag you along? Sure. So, so I just take a chill breath. It's like, okay. Check for traps. Here goes nothing. <laughs> so, try to step on out around this ridge here. Okay, hold up. Don't go that far. Okay. I'm explaining. I just have to find a miniature here for what you see. So many I apologize if you can hear the dog barking in the background. I don't hear anything. Okay, good. <laughs> this new, this new, uh, new old sound card's working great. Ah, I got it. Bark, 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 bark. Okay. I'm going to make perception checks. Not you, me. For some of these guys. See if they see you. These two, uh, hang on, you can't see what I see. These two wander off first, mm-hmm. and Garrett gets about here. He should be able to see. Oh. No, there, yeah, now I do. Yeah. You see, in a clearing nestled in the woods, mm-hmm. a semi-permanent campsite. You see mm-hmm. a number of trunks and logs serving as chairs, all centered around a stone-lined campfire. There's a heap of kindling and smaller sticks lying nearby. You see a couple of the bandits uh, still asleep even at this time of the day. And you can see uh, various tents, firewood, food, and other supplies kept under a canvas tarp uh, off to the side here. You can just barely see the supplies and the the tarp over there. Sure. You see uh, there's a couple of people kind of sitting nearby on logs. This this dude's asleep. This mm-hmm. guy's asleep. This guy seems to be asleep over here. Sure. And sitting on a nearby tree stump, sharpening a pair of what look like uh, hand axes. There's mm-hmm. one kind of across her knees, and she's got a whetstone, and she's scraping down another one. You see a woman who's dressed in uh, dark browns and olive greens. Uh, her hair is tightly wrapped in a, almost like a bandana around the top of her head. You can see she's got a very impressive large boot knife, and she does not see you because she's involved in what she's doing. Um, mm-hmm. Instead, she looks up, kind of looks at the fire, and goes back down to look at the scraping her knives. Hmm. Interesting. Sort I think of... we found the uh, people we were looking for. Yeah, sort of. Hold, I sort of hold a hand up to indicate back to a tech to. Be careful. 
And uh, as soon as I sort of get a line of sight of them, um, I'm going to pull back carefully towards Tekla. Okay. Eli. And sort of... <laughs> and sort of uh, actually, I'll, I'll kind of motion the uh, motion... Tech, uh, and any the, other, the party get a little bit closer and be like, now what do those bandits look like that came after, that came after Oleg's camp? Um, Magnus. <laughs> if I had to guess, I would say something like that. And there was one, a female one that uh, one of that the one. captured bandits was afraid of. Mm. If I had Indeed. to guess, I would say that would be her. Do we want to try talking to them, or do we just want to ambush? Either either tactic is valid. You, 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 How many are there? Well, I saw at least one, two, three, four, about five of them. One of them, two of them were asleep, so they are definitely uh, they were definitely resting well after perhaps a long night of either chopping wood or celebrating, whatever they consider celebrating out here. <coughs> Okay. We can either talk him out of we can either either talk him out of not going after Oleg, scare him out of not going to Oleg, and I could be a little a little imposing if I want to, or we can just reduce our numbers, then do the one of the two. Vega Magnus in the chat room, settle down. What? All right. There's a guy in the chat room, settle down. <laughs> All right. Um, I was gonna say, um, since. Uh, our friend, uh, the captured bandit, was so terrified of this woman. I'm guessing it's not going to be easy to intimidate her, and uh, think killing them is going to solve the problem the best. But unfortunately, that does seem that's like what we're sent out here to do. Given, and you, and, and from what you said while we were traveling, they almost killed Oleg back there, didn't they? Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Well, okay. Bandits aren't exactly known for being reasonable, so... Yeah, all right. Well... I, I motion to, to Magnus and say, Hey, take a look down here. You guys take the front way, we take the back way, and we can make sure that this is going to get done quickly. Um, mm -hmm. If you think you can get over there, I don't, I, didn't know, I don't know who or what may be down in this area, but if you want to, split, if you want to divide and conquer, we can possibly do that. Um, there is a fire near where they are. So, hmm, we can work with that. I have a little bit in stealth. I could sneak down there, and take a look. You could, but I think once we, I think once we split ways, we're going to commit to our plan. So we're going to make sure we have a good one. I have bombs. You have bombs, and <laughs> are going to, your bombs are going to be useful here. But we got to make sure you don't throw them at a tree. Okay. Um. And you will be youthful as well, Tecma. And I think what we can do is, I think split. I think I like your plan. Let's split and con let's divide and conquer this situation. So we'll wait for you to get a little bit of the way south, then we'll make our move. All right, Magnus, you're coming with me. Uh, I suppose so. Yeah. All right, let's let's go. Let's not be too loud about it, though. Yes. I suppose that would be stealth rolls, huh? Uh, do you have anything in stealth? Myself? He has a minus one. Minus <laughs> one. Oh, I boy. don't, but I'm also very good at talking to them. Uh, oddly, we're, we're the talky team, the three of us, since we each have one of the, uh, the, the social skills covered. It's I'm cool. a very good lad. It's cool, man. I'm just chill. All right. <laughs> okay, stop. Whoa, stop. Stop. Okay. Stop. Right. It play. Okay. Magnus, Thofir, make stealth checks. I'm guessing you're being sneaky, but go ahead. <laughs> Eight. Thirteen. Okay. Oh boy!
How do I reveal shit? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Huh? What was that noise? <laughs> what was that? Oh. oh, those guys would have been... Oh, look. That's a problem there. What's with this box? <laughs> oh, poopy. You hear one guy go, Over there! Oi! And they start to... Uh, one of them shoots an arrow into the air, which makes a high-pitched, shrill noise. Hmm. The other one knocks an arrow to his uh, his longbow, and he fires at the big one, so he's going to shoot the barbarian. Human shield. So here we go. Actually, we're into initiative, sorry. As I thought. Eight. I like that. <laughs> oh. uh. Erwin! Okay. Move quick! Oh, wait. No. What? what? That's not gonna happen, Erwin. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so you, isn't, that a, isn't this a tempting thing to throw a bomb at? Right in the <laughs> yeah, uh, looking up, you can see two guys up in a... There's a, uh, a watch post that they've built into the trees. Almost like a deer stand kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And they're, those two are keeping a lookout at anything approaching from the river, and they've seen you, so yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't yell uh, fast enough to look out for traps. Mm -hmm. Watch out for snakes! <laughs> <laughs> look out for snakes. Okay, so what's the range here? We've got 40, that's good enough, yeah. yeah. How do I set initiative again? Well, it had to be added to the initiative list, but we're, he's doing the surprise round first, so... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Return to your position. And... I think I'm just about to crash again. Yeah, there I go. <laughs> Not stable for you guys. Or this one, anyways. I got rid of Java 7, so. It's alright, it just runs out of memory. Eh. Uh, the little bar at the bottom right, you can actually uh, click it and it'll clear the cache. Okay. The question is, and I'm sure there's probably more over here. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm gonna do my I'm gonna do my surprise because one of them gets a shot off, so we'll do that. Oh. Okay. One, okay, it's plus two. Eight. He misses. The arrow thunk whizzes past your head and thunks into the side of the tree. Okay, now you get initiative. <laughs> the tree All takes right. damage. <coughs> Thunk. I think I rolled a 19. Yeah, I rolled... Um, Tekla, yes, you had a 19 for your initiative. Forgetting out to add you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay, that should be everybody. Okay, guys, knock it off. Sorry, my cat started battling on the top of my desk. <laughs> cat battle. <laughs> cat battle. <laughs> Kitty fight. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to ditch the fog of war. It's annoying. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Whee! It, yeah, it also speeds up the map loading as well. Yeah. But again, vi vision still works, so I can't see people over here because the fog of war itself is turned off. So. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, so I spent all that time and I turned it off. Whatever. <laughs> okay, uh, is everyone set? Mm -hmm. Everyone is not set. Oh, wait, am I? No. Oh, I thought I already rolled it. Sorry. Uh, no, no, you no, have no, to, you, have to, you, you have to set it. Right-click your character, go to initiative, and set it. Oh, okay, set initiative, and what do I... Whatever number you put in. So Whatever four? number you got. It's four. Okay, all right. Yeah, I haven't done that before, so there we go. Well, now you know. <laughs> and knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. Uh. <laughs> no one can ever just say half of it. Okay. <laughs> now everyone's ready. Magnus, you speed demon. All right. Uh... I'm going to, you, uh, right off the bat, use a uh, swift action, give myself a plus one enhancement to the rapier. Mm -hmm. uh, so I should have a rapier plus one for ten rounds. Um, mm -hmm. Then I will... Uh, are these guys considered to be elevated? Or? Yes, they are, okay. they're about like 10, 15 feet in the air. Okay, so they have... Okay, um... Nearer to me. All right. Um, let's see how far can I get? I'll move a little closer to about here. Okay, hold on. It takes uh, an extra. Uh, it takes basically two steps to get through a water square. Uh, okay, so back one then. Because it's kind of it, it's. Or wait, it's no, that's two. It's so, I'd probably be here then. Yeah, you could. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll just move there, and uh, that'll be the end of my turn for now. Okay. You can do one more move action to get over here. Actually, you just wouldn't. Oh yeah, I can double move. Yeah. yeah. So. I'll get right here then to get that little bit of cover. Okay. Tekla. Okay. Um. Since I can't see anybody yet. I am going to just hide in the bushes here. Okay. It's it's trees, but yeah. It's a tree? Yeah. Okay. Um, in that case, then I'm going to go over to this tree. Well, you still get cover. I mean... Okay. Okay. Nobody hide in the tree. tree. That it? Yeah. Okay. Basically. Alright. Um... I, I can do I'm double checking in, in terms of my naturalist. Do you want me to do a knowledge check to identify anything particular about these guys before I can apply a naturalist, or uh, Noah, do you want me to do that, or to identify what now? Well, basically, the way naturalist works is that it, I, I apply bonus to a type of creature that I identify using a relevant knowledge check. And for humanoids, it'd be I guess knowledge local in this case. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you so like it. humans. It basically, it's like they're they're humans. <laughs> so that, so next round I I could use naturalist then. So that's just to clarify. That's what I do for my uh for my uh for my standard um and for my move I am for my move I'm going to just kind of take a five foot step in this direction here for the time being. I'm just gonna keep and kind of lay low for the time being. All right. Okay. And now we have the bandit lookouts. Okay. This one, whoop, he jumps off. No. He's going to try to shoot Magnus through the trees. I know you have cover. That one's going to try to shoot uh, Thor Fire. Um. Um, what? Got a quick question, Spoonie. Um, since I'm over in this area, can I see the rest of this you should be um, able to yeah and yeah, there's okay. th this thing blocks vision much. yeah so. it's, I it's partial much. blocker but you can see through it yeah you should be able to see everything anyway right yeah i just didn't know if it's yeah like you it. can see it it'll they have uh, right there they have concealment they have partial concealment but yeah well i don't see any enemies are they hidden they're out in the open. They may be beyond your line of sight. I don't know. How is it yeah. still determining line of sight? Um, basically, you're inside of this tree area, so you're actually inside of the line of sight blocking there. That's the reason why. Well, even if I was... At, oh. I, tur I turned it off, though. I turned off Fog of War. Oh, Vision is still well, on there. Right? Vision is still on. But, so. and vision, uh, no I'll turn no it worries. off. Okay. Sorry. 
All right, that's fine. Is it off now? Can you see? Yes. yes. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. That's, that's what I wanted to know. All right. Yeah, I'd rather just do it that way. Okay. So, first shot against Magnus. No good. He didn't even see you. No good. Though fear, you get tagged. Yep. Arrow. You take four Arrow. points of damage. Uh, Arrow. <laughs> so far. <laughs> I, <laughs> I got food. Alrighty. Pull up the arrows like and <laughs> mutter myself, you just made the worst mistake. Pull up my sword and start charging for that. For this gentleman right over here. Well, he's ten feet near. Pull out my gun. He's up. Oh, in a, ten... He's up in like a tree stand, a, a lookout tower. Hmm. Do I see any supports for this particular tower? Oh uh, yeah. Good. I'm gonna take out my great club. I'm gonna whack the support. Okay. So you're charging in and whacking the support. No, actually, I don't need to charge in. It's in my range. You do need to charge, I think, because of the water. Yes, the water would okay. reduce your distance a little bit, so charging it would be... Alright, so I'll charge it, so that's... What is that? I'm guessing this is like a Sunder attack. Let me see. Okay, Sunder would be 1d20 plus 5. Twenty-two! <laughs> let me, let me, there's, a, there's a sheet I have that... Describe this in one second. Uh, he's a running tank. <laughs> he's the one guy might be able to do this. Mm hmm. Fine. Sunder, where is it? Sunder, Sunder, Sunder. 201. I have hardness and hit points. There we go. Okay, you definitely hit it. Um, so roll damage. Damage, um, and since I need to bludgeon the pillar out, great club. What are you again? You are one d ten plus six. Twelve. Twelve. Okay, the 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 wooden support splinters and creaks, but does not give away yet. All right. Well, and the whole stand shakes, and the guys go, "Oh!" And they like, they sway around you. And it's like, I'm like, "Whoa!" Um. Uh, let me think. Um, I have a dexterity mutagen. I don't know if I want to take that right now. I would say take it. Okay. Well, um, again, your your defenses will go up. And your your bombs will be significantly more accurate, and you don't want to throw a bomb here now. No, I don't. Got... Yeah, but no, but it will last you. It will Actually, last you he could throw rounds. a bomb up there because he's not uh, he's not really adjacent to the guys. It will last you sixty rounds when you take it, anyways. So, so wait, how many rounds? I'm sorry. Sixty rounds because it lasts ten minutes. Sixty rounds. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh wow. Uh, Okay. My suggestion uh, would be to uh, actually go over this direction because if I had to guess, this whole group of people is going to come this way. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I so I I feel I should go more towards the direction. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Uh, by a tree, so you have partial cover by the bottom too. Um, am I still behind a tree? We're here. Uh. Well, yeah. You're basically. There's like a little bit of a, clip, a, a hill okay. here that will give you partial cover, anyways. But okay. you can move there and drink your mutagen. Yes, and I will drink my uh, dexterity mutagen. So. <laughs> That's pretty much what it's like. <laughs> okay. Back to Magnus. Alrighty. Um, question: Can I uh, shoot color spray upwards? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I would hold that if I were you. Yeah, because um, we got we got another party to the right of five. I've got yeah. color spray myself, mm -hmm. but um, 
And exactly. I got grease. So we got we got we got a, we got a number of ways of disabling them. So it'll get sticky if they try to uh, shoot at us. But I had to guess Hatchet Lady will probably try to get in the melee. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. I can move one, two, three. I can move here, shoot color spray upwards. Which I will attempt to do. Uh, do I have any penalties for shooting upwards? Nope. Alright. Uh, so they basically. Oh wow. That's, yeah, they, they, they each need to make uh, will saving throws. Okay. I need to figure out what their will save is. What's it? Yo's. <laughs> not good. Oh, this is gonna be funny. <laughs> <laughs> if they both fail. Yep. They're unconscious oh, wow. for seven rounds. <laughs> 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 They're incapacitated basically for eleven rounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, I, the way I picture this is you get you you got you know guy in the armor here just run up smash the po and smash the support beam, and then the elf walks up and just shoots him in the eyes. What the? Hell? Shoot him with mace. <laughs> exactly. So. <laughs> Don't spray me, bro! <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's Magnus. Take uh -huh. it. Okay. Both uh, of the guys, they grab, they throw their hands over their eyes, drop their weapons, and just scream as they pitch backward onto the, onto the uh, lookout post, instantly unconscious. So you, you're saying they basically go like... <laughs> Yes. It all will help. Um, if I had to guess, I would say these guys over here are alerted. To, uh, they're not alerted to our presence. They are not. Okay. Um. Well, I'm gonna wait um, for the other guys to get into position before we act. Okay. Diplomacy. <laughs> um, basically, I'm going to move over here, uh, just kind of lay low, and then I'm going to enable naturalist. All right. So, these two have their plus one bonus to AC attack rolls and saving throws against humans. Yay! <clears throat> and uh, that's that's what we what I'll do for the time being. Okay. Half a new. It's like, you know, this reminds me of a really slutty story about these bandits that were in the woods, and... Initiative. I guess I could use this time to uh, try to hide in the tree. I would. I don't know if that would be hmm. much help. Yes, but the idea being is if they all try to run at you two, um, I can spray them with the uh, the pepper spray. <laughs> Actually, I need to I need to reset the uh, resource the order. Okay, so Garrett did his thing, mm -hmm. and then the bandits. You hear the woman from the camp shout, "I can hear him! He's over there! Get him!" What was that noise? <laughs> well, you're telling jokes, and she can hear it. Yes, it's like two bandits went into a wood. One of them was abruptly set on fire, and that's yeah. it. <laughs> Happy 
of this one. And uh, I also have the ability to throw grease down, so this will also make things particularly fun. Like Home Alone? Yes. <laughs> Actually, I was considering greasing one of the support uh, structures in the temple, but I had to get closer in order to do that. And then... <laughs> So you couldn't pull it out of the ground because you wouldn't be able to get a grip on it. <laughs> but then that would lead to a lot of jokes in the chat about him greasing things. They're gonna joke specifically anyway. a pole, so greasing. Yeah. Shh! Don't don't tell the jokes. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, throw a fire. All right. I look I look over to Magnus and go. You thinking they're these two guys or am I? Um, they're they're out of well, they're still they're still up on uh, they're still up on the thing, man. Go ahead and knock them down. Well, uh, be more I'll, than happy to. Okay, they might. Uh, I wonder if falling off that would wake them up. Hmm. Oh, they're stunned. They're yeah, they're not uh, asleep. They're, not they're asleep. stunned. <laughs> They're unconscious and stunned and, yeah. Blind or Blinded. Blinded. So, yeah. Oops, sorry. It's 1d20 plus 5. Plus 5, yeah. Okay. Basically the same as your basic melee any, your melee attack anyways. Got yeah. it. Roll damage. Support me. So 1d10 plus 6. Oh! Let's see. Seven. Uh, it's, it's sorry, it's, it's still not enough to, to shatter it, but yeah. Alrighty. You do damage, but it's not enough to completely break it. Mm -hmm. It's okay, so it happens to everybody. <laughs> okay, right. so... Or win. Alright, okay, um, so... I'll need a little break. You we... Want... Uh... Yeah. <coughs> so... I see a couple of folks here. Yeah. Um, should I step over a little closer and toss? You you could do that if you want to. It would draw their attention towards you. Which oh oh their attention isn't already drawn towards us or <laughs> drawn towards you specifically. Oh. Which you're also very much more dexterous, so you could probably uh. Yeah. Remember, okay. Probably have the highest AC out of okay. all of us. Okay. Right you now. do have the highest AC out of all of us. So. Um. How do I uh? Direct my my uh, like an arrow. Um, just you're you're just hold on the space bar, and I'll tell you kind of where you are pointing it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So I'm I'm thinking about tossing it right here. Yeah, uh, or oh, wait, wait, wait. How how far is my spray again? With the spray the is adjacent. Um, so for example, you could throw it at this guy directly. Yes. Or this guy directly. In, in either one of those cases, you'll take a minus two penalty to the throw, okay. which overall gives you basically a still a plus one overall bonus. So you oh, because be, they're hiding behind these... Well, no, but no, it's 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 more so because you are throwing outside of the 20-foot range. Mm -hmm. So you take a minus two penalty for each range increment past 20 that you're throwing out. Oh, so, that's right, yeah. So for 21 to 40, you're basically taking a minus two penalty, which is negated from your bonus from dexterity and my bonus from naturalist being used. So, Okay. So if I toss it here... That will have an AC of 5, which you can hit more easily, or you can try to throw it directly at someone and try to do more damage. Okay. <clears throat> but you said there was a minus 1 penalty if I just throw it toward him. No, there's, there's, there's going to be a penalty regardless because you're throwing it outside of 20 feet. Oh, uh, okay. So. But you're going to do more damage if you hit someone directly because they can't soak off the damage if you hit them. So. Okay. Um, oh, darn it. I would say either throw it directly at him or yeah. directly at him. All right. Well, um, and this one is closer to more people, so it might be more. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay. I'll, I'll I'll toss it at this guy, and uh, there we go, bomb. That will. That'll that hit him. You hit one, <laughs> plus one. Twenty-one. Oh, and uh, damage. Eight fire damage. Yep. It's like. I'm picking your nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like the game worms, you know, just throwing the grenade over the cover. 
<laughs> it, what it was... basically hits him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and it just explodes, engulfing him immediately in flame. Oh, nice. And then <laughs> flames just dance around. <laughs> <laughs> and boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, Erwin. <laughs> Fantastic. Hang on. KO! KO! <laughs> <laughs> Knocked out or less horribly burned. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. That was Erwin, and now we're back at the top, I think. Yeah, Magnus. <laughs> okay. Um... Meanwhile, on the other side of the woods. Let's see here. I'm going to. Since these are the only two guys here. And they're incapacitated. Uh, uh, I, I motion's like, go kill the other guys for me. Yeah. Oh, I, got, I got these two. All right, I'll trust you to take care of them. And I'll, uh, I guess, use a double move to, uh, let's see. When you want to take care of this guy, or no? Like... Or I, I I don't know if you could go this way. I'm just I'm sorry. I don't think you could. Could you go through the split logs there, or the split part of the yeah, tree trunk? You could. Oh, okay. Um. In that case, um. Is it a minor action to pull out another weapon? Um, move action it is part of a that's part of move action. But you already have your rapier out. Yeah, but I also have a scimitar. I could slash at the. Uh, the supports. It would be two move actions. One to sheath the weapon, one to draw the other one. Uh, I believe. Couldn't I just drop the rapier? Yes. You could. Uh, I will do that. I will drop the rapier, uh, draw the scimitar, and I will uh, that will be scimitar. not enough weight. Would that not even do anything? It's it, it, these. I My think club is purpose is going to be best for this, so yeah. I say join right. the other guys. So, yeah, just just keep a rapier out and move. Yeah, so, I guess I'll do that. I'll just ditch that. Take that! Run up towards you guys. Uh, I'll just use a double move, and because of the water, I can only do 50. So I'm going to move two tiles of water. So I will be there, and that's it for me. All right. <laughs> Tech law. Okay. Um. I am still. I'm gonna delay until those guys move. Okay. 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 Um. Free action. Maintain this. Um. Let me just see here in terms of. Let's see there. And then I am going to draw my whip out as I move over here. Slight. Gah. Now you're in my way. Well, oh, are you, are, like, can you shoot past me, though? You're um, right, wait, sir. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> I'm going to, I'll keep behind Erwin, so don't worry. Erwin, Erwin, will be, er, Erwin, Erwin you're going to be my meat shield. <laughs> <laughs> Here, hold my bombs. <laughs> they, they'll need to come through here. Move it. You're in my so spot. Move that way. I, I want to move over. Yep, way. yep, yep. I understand. You're in my way. Stunned. Do that. You got to move away from there. <laughs> <laughs> You're in my way. <laughs> Standing in my position, sir. <laughs> Sir, right. you're in my spot. That's my mark you're at. <laughs> okay. Just like the game. <laughs> Sir. Okay. 
Uh, they're gonna. This guy's gonna. Gotta, this guy will fire with his long bow. At Orvin. <laughs> Orvin. Orvin. Orvin, you're getting shot at. <laughs> Fourteen. No good. I'm guessing. <sighs> nope. And so will this guy. Oh, they're gonna be pansies then, huh? No good. Oh. Yep, I think so. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did blow one of them off. You blew one guy off. Yeah, I did that, so what if I did? <laughs> oh, we got a special friend here. Hi, Creature 3. <laughs> he misses. You got lucky. <laughs> Quick, throw another grenade at him. <laughs> Sick boy's right in front of me. Point blank. Um, you can't yeah. miss. That would, that would probably not be a good idea. <laughs> I'll, I'll, you, would, you, would want to, you would want to take a five-foot step and then throw it at someone else. <laughs> okay, then uh, she throws a knife. How far? We got five, ten, fifteen. Okay, so it's out of the first range. It's going to be minus two. Okay. She's going to throw it at Laughing Boy here. <laughs> <laughs> Chuckles. Chuckles the... Yes. The jester. That's right. Let's no play good. a game. Okay. <laughs> like, hey, children! Hey, kids! <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favorite uh, gags you did. Stole fire. Try to chop that thing down already. I smash things hard. <laughs> No, you don't. <laughs> Eleven to the support beam. It's, it's hard to miss that thing, isn't it? Or... Yeah, that's, that's what I was about to say. It's like <laughs> it's an environment fucking it. You hit it. Yeah, that's <laughs> what... I was just being a dick. <laughs> Carbon rod. There we go. Twelve. You smash it. The uh, the support <laughs> the support splinters and shatters in half. And uh, the the watch post tilts to one side and then collapses forward, spilling the two guys messily onto the ground in front of you. <laughs> Did they take any damage for that? Oh, yeah. Good. They take four damage from that. Nice. Okay. So that's <laughs> Thor fire. Erwin. Okie dokie. There's now a bad man attacking you. Can you yes. do, like, a finishing blow to an enemy on the ground? Yes. Oh, it's so a four-round uh, action called a coup de grace. Ah, the coup well, de grace. So, uh, I have to take out my dagger or something? Or so, if, I, if I have, like, a hand weapon, do I have to take it out? You or? can well, do what you want to do if you... Yeah. I mean... Basically, there's a, few, there's a few things you can do. You could draw a weapon and try to stab him. Mm -hmm. um, you could take a five-foot step over here as your move action... Yeah. And then throw a grenade at her or him or, or him, <laughs> yeah, or anybody. Um, I can cause fear on you, the guy that the mob that's right in front of you. So oh yeah. So. Okay. Well, uh, I, I I step away from the guy, <laughs> and I toss a bomb at uh, the lady over there. Okay. <laughs> and so um, I I wind up the pitch. Yep. Yeah, we'll hit. <laughs> yep. Wow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and Hi, baby. Catch. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Nice dagger, by the way. <laughs> Hope you like the taste of fire. <laughs> Glitter. Boom. Okay. That's all. Right. all. Oh, that's... Magnus. All right, I will uh, continue my move on over here. What's up, gentlemen? Ding. Magnus gets the. We're in my way, sir. Now. And, We're in my uh, spot, sir. I th think this is as far as I can move this turn. Um, Need you to move. You could charge through my square. But if you were set, you've lined yourself up. You could have charged down at this guy. I try to yes. run him through with your rapier. Oh, uh, you're in my way. Fine. <laughs> you're in my spot. 
because I was right here, and I could have yeah. gone, yeah. yeah you, you could have, like, gone up to here and boom. We'll say I'll do that. All right. Uh, not on him. Mother... <laughs> oh, you, you, you need to move, yeah. You need to... Motherfucker. <laughs> so, I yeah, can't you get my move... character out of there. <laughs> okay, move so the character. You basically can move that total distance because you can move <laughs> to 30, correct? Yeah. Yeah, yep. And then... Okay, and I will... Attack with uh, the rapier. Yep, attack with the rapier, so attack roll. That's 13 no, in this case. Ooh, 13, 13 actually, maybe. I don't know. These guys aren't elites, you know. You got a plus one bonus, enchantment bonus for because of the sword and a plus one uh, insight bonus to your attack roll. Uh, sadly, no... Hmm. Damn. <laughs> Still, you're distracting him. <laughs> yep. Okay. Next is Tefa. Okay, that changed things a little bit, so I'm trying to figure out if it's advantageous to uh, fear the guy, which it probably isn't, or attempt to move into position to color spray the two over here. But then again, I don't want to get too close. Well, the, um, I'll be moving immediately after you, so I'll, I have some ideas up, up my sleeve. So. Okay, in that case, I will move there. And I will do the cone. Yeah. Shoot. No, it's not what I wanted. You're okay. catching these two, am I right? Yeah. Oops. Did an explosion. No. In a, in a cone of spray, so yeah. They're color sprayed. Um, I think they have to make a willpower save. Okay. <laughs> What is the what is the DC for it? In your case? Um fourteen I can pour, plus my level. So fifteen. That's not the correct die. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell of a will save. <laughs> <laughs> not will save though. Okay. Sixteen forty? God damn. <laughs> so I take it she fails and he succeeds. Yeah. One D two thousand eleven. Want me to roll out the uh, the effect then uh, for this is color spray. That's the die that the doctor okay. uses when it's in the TARDIS. So, what year? Uh, to uh, so whoever got affected is unconscious. Um, is unconscious, blinded, and stunned for four rounds. Then blinded and stunned for four rounds for three rounds, and then stunned for one additional round. Okay. So. He's out. <laughs> he's he, he's fine. Well, we got She's... the boss lady. She was the important one. Yes, and we got her unconscious, so we can take her non lethal. Yeah, I'm getting a war a reward for her. Uh huh. I like the way I like the cut of your jib. I still want to throw a bomb at her. <laughs> you know, we got other people who can throw bombs bomb at. Bomber while she's unconscious. You <laughs> dick. <laughs> um. Kaboom! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. Right. I probably I probably can't keep up my performance and try to demoralize someone at the same time, can I? No. I would say crack that whip. Well, I mean, I, I I can't move that far without provoking an opportunity attack, so I can't. So I can. My <laughs> move will be to step over to the side here, um, and I will maintain. Uh, naturalist for that's the fourth round. I'll I'll be maintaining it for so. That's it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Technically, you still have a plus one bonus to AC, so hopefully that will help out. Oh God! Ooh. I crit you. Uh oh. Damn! This is not happy. Well, I still so yeah. got your light wounds on hand, so we can okay. get you back on your feet. And for my next toy, I'm gonna break out my critical hit deck. Oh jeez. <laughs> um. Please don't be. Uh... Yeah. It's more than 16. I uh, will be insta killed. Uh -oh. That is not the correct deck. It was going so well. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure this is only intended for 
monsters, not player characters. I'm just playing. Mm. <laughs> Roll damage, sir. You're <laughs> making me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is just for monsters. Yeah. Well, the dam well the damage can't be super high because as a short sword, it's only plus two bonus to the damage, probably. So. Yeah. I'm just torturing Liz. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna type it in. It one hit you are evaporated. <laughs> slow. Well, I had the music on standby if it happened. So. Yeah. Actually, wait. He has a confirmed crit, though. That is not. Oh, he did. No, it's that second correct. roll. That second roll was for the attack on Irwin, not to confirm critical on him. I'd rather take the four damage. Wait, I'm not even sure I did that right. <laughs> yeah, you take four. Okay, well that's you fine. You lucky wench. Roll minimum damage. Roll yes. damage. <laughs> yeah. Hush up, bitch. Let's let's take take what we can get. Some shit. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You lucky. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. The next is the attack on Irwin. Stop. Which misses, oh. and the attack on Magnus, which misses. Oh, that was that was nice. Oh, that okay. was okay. That was. Sometimes you eat the bar, and sometimes the bar eats you. So wait, mine right. missed. Yes, you oh. missed. You'd have to roll 18 or higher to hit you. Whew. <laughs> I can imagine this on the field. No, I think he stabbed you harder. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he killed you. <laughs> I got better. I got so excited too. Damn you! <laughs> I, I was all set to uh, to play the uh... just <laughs> mother. <laughs> but, Piece of uh, shit. I won't have to. That was lucky. That was that luck. Was really lucky. It wouldn't have killed me uh, in terms of max damage. It wouldn't have, but mm -hmm. yeah, it still would not have been fun. Garrett would have no, saved you. You're the guy. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, you can use your grave touch on him. Cold too. guy, you're up. Well, yeah. So I'm debating whether or not to kill them or to or to like hog tie them. They're still like unconscious for another what, four rounds? <laughs> no, they're unconscious to round thirteen. God. No, no, they're unconscious for another four rounds. Then there's oh, then there's oh, then there's stun down, stun and blind. Actually, tie them up. That way, um. There can be public hangings, and then we'll be considered heroes instead of just bringing back corpses. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> Still want to throw bombs at their unconscious bodies. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be chaotic good. <laughs> Guys, I, look how long a fuse I'm putting here. <laughs> I, I just like explosions. I wanted to mother <laughs> kill kill Liz. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I I got this. That was the, pretty awesome. <laughs> this guy shot me, so I'm sorry, but you're going down with my great club. Coup de gras, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so how do I coup de gras? You just say, if he's helpless, you say you're doing it, and then you do it. So he's dead. Coup de gras, smash. <laughs> oh, Again. Oh, just keep him as prisoners. Uh, whatever. I'm yeah. not. No, the so, other one's gonna be a prisoner. <laughs> this one shot like... me face with a bow. So he's going to get it. Okay. Erwin. <laughs> All right. Petty revenge for the win. Exactly. <laughs> Nerdlinger, do it. <laughs> um, okay, you can, you know, step and throw, throw or otherwise. Um, well, if, if I throw, it's, it's pretty much going to, there's going to be splash damage around them, right? Right. You could basically, yeah. like, for example, throw here. Yeah. Try to get so, both of these guys in splash damage, as, as opposed to, and that would make it less likely it, to hit Agnes. Yeah, but it won't hit us, right? If, if, if you miss, it will hit us, but you're trying to hit AC5. Okay. So you would step back up to here and then throw it at this square. Okay. And that, and you still have the bonuses, so you have to basically roll a 1 to uh, miss it. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Kressel had two hit dice, so she's not going to get up anytime soon. So I'm yeah. going to wind up... <laughs> You hit the square. <laughs> All right. So, so we know uh, who the MVP is for this game. Jeez. So, uh, all right. They be, they I basically think the get. The MVPs. Yeah. So these two guys take five splash damage unless they, you know, reflex safe out of the way. Like fire in the hole. Uh, does nope. Does he make it? 
Nope. No, okay. Nope. Okay, so they take five. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. Agnes. Agnes. Uh, stab. I will stabby stab. <laughs> 21. You hit. Actually, I think that's a crit. Is that a crit threat with a rapier? No, no. it's 18 to 20. That's right. Three. And that's four. That's four that's damage because it's a plus yeah. one weapon. Yep. Ah. He, he dead. <laughs> While he was on fire. From the <laughs> <laughs> on fire. Hey, I made kebabs. Yep. <laughs> Tekla. All right. I'm going to move away from uh, the guy who just uh, hit me and uh, do cause fear. So he has to do a will save. And... Why so serious? Exactly. Uh, do it. Um... I think that saves, but he's still um, shaken. Shaken. Yes. Okay. Unless does your does your uh, song affect uh, casting ability? No, it's just it's just, it's just an increase for your attack rolls in AC. Doesn't doesn't demoralize the people around you in any way. So. Okay. So he's just shaking for a round. Okay. Well, no, he's shaking longer than that. But... Okay. Anyway, yeah, that's all I got. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Uh, shaken. That doesn't affect his AC. That's okay. Well, I'm debating kind of what we want to do, and I'm, I kind of want to take this guy out over here. Um, so <clears throat> Garrett just kind of keep, he keeps his song going. He keeps his, you know, mocking of their folly, and then he is going to let's see here. He is going to just attempt to hit him with the whip. That would be 16 versus AC. You hit. He gets hit for uh, five slashing damage. You slash him across the throat, and he falls down gurgling. Oh. Blood. <laughs> it's like, jeez. <laughs> I just tried to blow him up, but damn. Well, now you can... <laughs> okay. The last yeah, it's like it's... Mm -hmm. He doesn't realize what's going on because he's dazed and continues to try to attack attack law. He's not, he's not dazed, he's afraid. Or he's shaken. shaken. So he has a penalty to his attack roll. So. It's minus one or minus two? Minus two to the attack roll. Okay, gotcha. Nine, he misses. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what shaken Afraid does. That. <laughs> Throw All right. Throw fire. So now I'm going to tie the guy that didn't bother me. Okay, that's I'll, your turn. Then. <laughs> yeah, basically hog time. Okay. <clears throat> Irwin. Um, I'm going to come up to this guy and I'm just going to use my dagger on him. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, you're going to try to stab him with your dagger? Yeah. Okay. Your melee attack is not as strong, but you still have a plus one bonus to it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just want to I just want to cut him. I want to cut him. I just want to cut him. I've done enough explosions today. <laughs> oh, God. That's that's four. Four yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, you cut him. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's high damage because of the song. No, no, no. It doesn't increase damage rolls. You got, no, it's no. not. Uh, it's not inspire courage. It's um. Okay. You get bonus your AC and your attack rolls. I cut him, man. I cut him. I want to cut him. Agnes. <laughs> <laughs> this is gang up on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, ordinarily, I'd have him here, run, but since he's kind of confused gonna... right now, he doesn't. Re yeah, that's true. We're just, talk him down, but... we're just, we're just <laughs> kind of pushing him between us. Just... <laughs> if you that want to move all the way there, Ma if you can't move all the way there, Magnus, without incurring an attack of opportunity, you have to uh, stop. You have to stop, like basically next to Irwin. Meh. Okay. Yeah. Attack roll. For that's you. fifteen. Hit. Fifteen. Yep. Yeah. Six. Hey, um, seven he damage. Is, he is slain. All right. I sort of, sort of, I sort of stop the, uh, I sort of stop the naturalist and sit, and then just sort of walk over to her. And, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, I like, like, we're, because we're not, we're not gonna kill her. We're going Fire. to uh, tie her up. I toss a Tekla one of the two non-scorpion whips I have. It's like, okay, <laughs> spider up. 
<laughs> oh my god, that's a scorpion whip! <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So that's that. I think that. Are, are, the, we, are we doing combat over at this point? Yeah. I, I'm considering this combat over. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just hey. want to cut him. I also. I also. I look over at I'm like. I'm like. Good work there. Like, uh, Tekla, you get five hit points back. Yay. Well, healthy. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, full. So I would like to go in and take a look at two bodies close by me to see what they have. Okay. okay. Well, <clears throat> while you are uh, tying them up, I'm going to pull out my sketch pad and uh, <laughs> sketch the uh, the various corpses that we've made. <laughs> Making note of the of the stab wounds. I and, think uh, this was going to be the most interesting one for you. <laughs> <laughs> Bob to the face. Bob to the I face. <laughs> I walk over and I look at him and I go, ooh, nasty. <laughs> Notice right. how the flesh has been ripped off or burned off. <laughs> okay, for each of the bandits, their gear was pretty uniform. Uh, they all carried leather armor. They all had longbows with 20 arrows apiece. Uh, they all carried a short sword and two days of trail rations. Nice. And just for averageness sake, uh, they all carried 10 gold pieces. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then what about the um, what about our our leader? Oh, yes, I haven't forgotten. <laughs> longbows, longbows what? are worth stuff. So I say yes. We Actually, Erwin should use a longbow. I don't think he can wield a longbow, but if he could. He should use it. <clears throat> okay. So right. could I pick up a longbow or? or you have a you have to have a competency uh, penalty. <laughs> yeah. Arrows aren't really worth the, the weight. Okay. She carried... Uh, mm -hmm. She wears studded leather armor. Ooh. I like that. She carried two masterwork hand axes. Ooh. Nice. Three nice. normal daggers. Mm -hmm. One masterwork dagger. Nice. A potion of cure light wounds, which you recognize because it looks just like yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she has a coin purse with 85 gold pieces. So, 60 plus 85. Nice. You said one potion to cure light wounds? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. <clears throat> ready to loot down, so. Which she never got a chance to use because you fucking flashbanged her. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> like a boss. Right, um, I, I sort of look at the uh, Masterwork dagger, and I sort of uh, offer over to Tekla. It's like, you look like you probably need this most. Um, I would actually recommend giving it to old Shanky over there. <laughs> I don't think, I like, honestly, I believe Erwin to be more than capable of dealing with some things on his own, but sure, we'll, we'll, we'll parse these out. I think these axes, though, they're it's pretty nice. more to sell anyway. Yes, indeed. So, oh, is a master dagger, like, what, does it have more damage than... A masterwork dagger um, gives you a plus one bonus to attack rolls, but it does not confer a bonus to damage rolls, and is not considered a magic weapon. Okay. So. So, so I'm pretty much fine just with the dagger that I have. Normally you, would, normally you wouldn't do melee attacks, so... Yeah, I know, but I, I, I thought it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was fun just cutting it, guys. I twitch. I like to cut things. <laughs> you, you, okay. Well, anyways, we need to, um, we need to, get, we need to stage this thing to make I, sure. I, I, I whistle up. over. Hey, guys, look what I found. <laughs> uh, yes. Well, that we wagon. have a conveniently placed cart, yeah. Yes, we have a cart where we can try to get the horses to drive it, but that would be a little trickier. Well, how, I wonder how heavy that cart is. That, that larger horse might be able to pull it by herself. <laughs> I don't want to kill him. I just want to cut him a little. <laughs> <laughs> just a little. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I sort of look at her with a curious look like, me thinks you're a little... interesting, Erwin. <laughs> I, I've been told that. <laughs> Just want to cut him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems so wrong somehow. I don't know. 
<laughs> well, it's like, it's like, like well, I th- also, I think that despite having a rough start, this this excursion turned out fairly well. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's load her onto that wagon over there, I guess. Like, her over there. It's like... <sighs> so, so I, I, I will... know she's like... So I think we're going to old legs with a little bouncy with us. I believe I believe that should be a fine idea, though. I think it'll be a little tough to get this cart moving without one or two horses pulling it. Well, okay, uh, how do you how do you spe- to, um... you need to be a little more specific just for my own edification? How do you specifically restrain these two? Um, she's restrained arms and legs um, with uh, I have two standard whips, each of them being used to tie up and restrain her wrists and her ankles. Okay. Does anyone... All right. And I just literally car- picked up the body, lugged it over into the cart here. So well, anybody one... have a oh, Yeah, this ropes. guy. Yeah. Any ropes? Uh, yes. Uh, do I have a rope? I have a knife. No, that's not the same. <laughs> I think I, I think I have a rope. Oh, uh, what? All, All right. right. T- tie him up and let's let's hit, let's hit it back to old legs. Yeah, I that's right. I got one at old legs. Um, okay, yeah, I'll do that then. Move over, yeah, tie up, there we go. Okay, you start on your journey back to Oleg's, going back to the world map, mm-hmm. so I can oh, see. Oh, XP, how much do we get before we forget? <sighs> Sorry. You want everything. This That's is it. why I wait to the end of the session to go, okay, in total, so we don't interrupt. One second. Now, no, now nobody touched the world map. What? <laughs> touched the world map? Uh, <laughs> you son of a bitch. You even... Once he figures that out, we also just uncovered that hex southeast of the one that we were at. Yeah. But... Alright. <clears throat> 